and Melania shock fans at Florida airport, giving them Thanksgiving surprise. President Donald Trump and First Lady Melania Trump landed in West Palm Beach, Florida, yesterday evening to commence their Thanksgiving holiday. Barron was at his parents' side as they deplaned Air Force One to cheering supporters on the tarmac. Trump went off script as he and Melania walked over to greet the excited crowd, giving fans the shock of their life as the President and First Lady gave them all a Thanksgiving surprise. You'll love this. President Donald Trump landed at West Palm Beach Airport at approximately 5.45 p.m. with wife Melania and son Barron to a very excited crowd who had spent hours just to catch a glimpse of the first family. Floridians are proud of the Trump's Mar-a-Lago Resort, which is now known worldwide as the Winter White House. President Trump was overwhelmed by the greeting and decided, on the spot, to spend some time with the loyal fans, to the chagrin of the Secret Service agents. Trump's the boss, so when Melania agreed to accompany him, a tired 11-year-old Baron was sent to wait in the presidential motorcade. The first couple immediately went right over and started to shake hands and converse with the people. One man, who was later identified as Gene Huber, 47, of Boynton Beach, Florida, wore a t-shirt of himself hugging Trump at an Orlando rally in February, reported the Sun Sentinel. Our president brings more and more each day to us, he said. We are here to show love. Another unidentified man stood out in the crowd as the president and the first lady spent some time conversing with him. He looked very serious and could be heard telling the president and first lady, thank you, thank you, with Melania saying, it's no problem. We are not sure what he was thanking them for but it just goes to show you that the President and the First Lady are not out of touch with the American people. In fact, after watching several different angles of the same video of this tarmac visit, Melania was especially relaxed as the press was kept at bay. As the first couple moved down the line, visiting with their fans, Trump gave out hashtag mega hats that he autographed right on the spot. As excited fans thrust items to be autographed into the President's hands, it was pure Donald Trump, who didn't miss a beat, laughing, and smiling at Melania as excited supporters snapped pictures. It was such a fun moment, and it's no wonder the liberal media refused to cover these off-script events since you can't help but love the president and first lady when you see them engaging with down-to-earth, middle-class Americans. This is nothing the mainstream media will ever report on. In fact, they are bashing Trump for going to Mar-a-Lago and criticizing the First Lady's expensive wardrobe. One ridiculous report that was copied verbatim by other leftist sites focused on the coat she wore to pardon the turkey, yesterday, calling it frumpy. This type of jab is all the losers can come up with as mainstream reporters ignore the good deeds the Trumps do for everyday Americans.